It's like, I was really interested in music after watching my brother's senior recital. He's actually like 11, 12 years older than me, so we have like a very large age gap. So it, it kind of made him into like this role model for me. But he was playing this piece called The Butterfly Lovers. And essentially, it's not really well known to people other than people, Chinese people, but it's like a Chinese Romeo and Juliet. What that caused me to do is like, I, I decided to pick up the violin when I was five years old. And it started off pretty rough because my parents were like, oh, let's have your brother teach you, right? Because he, he's been playing violin for a while. And <laughs> there's sibling stuff, it, it doesn't end well. And there's obviously like, a ton of amazing musicians that can just pick up the instrument and just play something beautiful. But then there's other people that like, maybe they're very talented at drawing or they're just like incredible at math or something like that. And I don't know, it just feels, it's a part of me and I don't quite feel like it's something that I, I'm just like, oh wow, I can do this, I'm amazed, but more of just like, it's just something that's part of me. like it's kind of empowering in some kind of way because what happens in like the music department is really you have like these two separate lives and like I think that's what distinguishes a lot of people who play in orchestra or band is that while they also have this academic part of them they also have this like music loving part of them that when I talk to like people that aren't in the music department of Pioneer it's something that I can't really express as much help me like kind of draw out my really raw music like my passion for music and my drive for like loving music. When I first entered, I was kind of beginning to be a little bit sick of music in a kind of way because like, obviously when you become a mu musician, especially for like difficult instruments like maybe French horn or violin, you have to like constantly repeat passages and it really made me tired of like playing music for a while. But like, I think what happened when I first entered Pioneer and we played our first song, which is um, Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings, which is known, known in the string world as like probably one of the saddest music pieces that was ever written. It really just like, very, it was very eye-opening for me and I just realized I really love this music. I really love music in general.